G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So I'm continuing work on, sorry about that, continuing work on the bananas. Uh, it's proved to be a lot more difficult than I thought. I'll just come up here and turn around so I can show you what I mean. So I'm literally having to dig wood and root out of the patch where they were. I've got the bulk. That little one's going to be relocated. And that big bloke beside it, I'm still digging out. He's the only one left now out of five. You can probably see a lot of it there. Bloody hell, you can hear me puffing, I guess. <laughs> I found the wood soft, so the best way is not to try and dig under and rip it out. It's to go down from the top and break it into pieces that come out with root and all then. So we are continuing. Um, the ones that I'm pulling out that I think will be viable will go out the front. That one looks good, that little guy, so he'll definitely be a relocate. Oh, but I'll keep at it. I'm hoping to finish this today. It's been a bit of a long dig. You can probably hear that in my voice. So we'll get that out today, hopefully, and um, I'll show you a bit more of what's happening then. So the bananas are now gone, skis, out of the garden. I'll be able to screw that end back together. And the world is a good place. I'm pretty sure there's no wood left in there. I've had quite a good dig around. So that's good. You can see, geez, there was some stuff came out of there. Holy mackerel. Remember, you got all that. Plus you got down the other end there as well. A fair bit down there too. But the job is done. And that'll give me a whole new area of veggie patch. Now I'll show you where they ended up. And so that's them over there behind the black stump. There's in fact a couple over there. There's four nodes that I think will grow. Uh, so that's good. There's kind of innocuous over there so they shouldn't be able to cause any trouble way back there but it did get me thinking remember I put a bloody Cavendish banana up in there so I'm gonna have to dig him out too now before he gets to the stage where he's gonna give me trouble so thank god he's only small won't be such a bad job I shouldn't think but that'll probably be my next adventure, I might make that veggie garden first because that'll keep me cheered up. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll get bloody depressed digging all these plants up all the time. Anyway, so there it is, folks. Trying to use some of the leaves as mulch, you can see. Uh, it'll also save a trip to the dump with a bit of luck. All right, folks, I'll talk to you next time. So I did want to show you just how much bed I've freed up from moving those bananas. It's, in fact, two full beds. So that first bit there, I've obviously emptied it out and then thrown the leaves back on. This one I'm pulling the beetle out of. Um, I might even take the Madagascar, I think, because he's looking pretty raggy. Um, and that'll give me, two, like I say, two full beds. How good is that? I haven't done them yet, uh, but today's project is those bloody Cavendish bananas. So that's where the bananas were. Three in total. That's the new banana patch in the building site so what we've got the bigger one there with the yellowy leaves that's a cavendish you can see there's a baby down below a pup the one over there is another cavendish and then the one on the end with not many leaves that's the lady finger from the big batch that was around the side so i'm happy to announce the relocation has been largely successful i'll water all that in of course and what I've got to give away to locals is a couple of pieces there that I'm very confident will survive in a pot. So how good is that, hey? Welcome to the new banana patch. Hopefully that'll get some use out of this damn building site that hasn't seen much use since I got here. Alright folks, have a good one, eh?